All right, welcome back to our video series on introduction to second brain trading. Every trading system's got to have an edge, otherwise there's no point in trading it. And we obviously have a, an edge and a very strong edge. We've been uh, exploiting this edge for many years in our trading room. So let's talk about that edge a little bit. The uh, traders that we ask report an average of 75 to 85% win rate. Now, our experience has been that those are the traders that have been with us for a little while and actually work hard at their trading and practice trading and practice their trading using our fast forward program, which we're going to talk about later. This type of trading that we do requires almost no need for emotion management. As I was developing this trading system, one of the things I recognized about myself was that I had very limited ability to manage my emotion. So I decided, well, what, what could I do that could limit the need for emotion management? It's really easy to learn, as you saw in our previous videos. The indicators are very concise and precise in letting us know when conditions exist and when it's time to trade a setup. Our trades have minimum exposure in the markets. Having money in the markets is the most dangerous place to have it because of the market makers that are so prevalent in the markets today. This creates a very low stress type of trading. We're in and out of trades very quickly. The rest of the time we're just sitting and waiting patiently for the next setup. It's very easy to design very clear trading rules based on your risk tolerance levels. Our trading is very focused and deliberate. We have a very specific thing that we do and we do it every day. Our trades are either yes or no. There are no gray areas when qualifying a trade setup. Our setups are very consistent. You see them on all markets that are liquid and have a lot of volatility. Our trading hasn't changed in over eight years. All we do is look for tools to enhance the trading that we've been doing all these years. We're looking to capitalize on all the smart money movements in the market with real-time notification of market conditions. And it's very easy to practice. So these last three I'm going to talk about just a little bit more. Let's take a quick abbreviated look on how this happens every day on all liquid markets. Smart money has algorithms that know when and how to take your money. They do it every day creating a very difficult trading environment for most traders. They know how to make money and then set the markets back up so they can do it again. So if you look at this, this is a, a very simplified version of what the market makers do every day. And you can go and pull up any trading chart and you'll see these patterns repeated over and over and over again. So we have these areas of what's called accumulation. This is where the market makers are buying up the assets of this instrument and they're going to try to buy up as much as they can until there is no more left. They want to become the major holder of these assets. Then they can control these assets, but they're going to do it very slowly and very steadily so that the rest of us don't really know what they're doing. At some point, they're going to do the exact same thing, but they're going to do it the opposite. They're going to start selling. This is where they make all their profits. This is what's important to them that they can distribute these assets so that they can make the profits that were intended on this manipulation of the markets. When this distribution is over, they'll stop selling. They know when to do this because the buyers are now becoming very interested in the breakout of this channel. There are a lot of breakout buyers. The market makers see this happening. They allow the breakout and then the major holders stop selling. The buyers are still buying, but the major holders stop selling, which creates an imbalance of supply and demand. Because they created this imbalance, there is more demand than supply, which drives price up. The major holder then dumps all the holdings on the market, creating another imbalance of supply and demand, but the opposite. They flood the market, they take out all the buyers, and they overwhelm the market with all of these assets, which causes price to plummet. You see this over and over and over again in the markets. All you have to know is where to look and when to take advantage of it. So at this point, we have very clear, very specific edge, and we know exactly where to place a trade. I'm going to show you two different charts. One chart has no indicators on it. I want you to look carefully. I just showed you an example of a market structure that allows for the market makers to take advantage of us. I want you to see here, this looks a lot like the accumulation or distribution. We have the same thing here. Now I want you to watch this chart and see if you can pick up where would be a good point to trade. 
very easy to miss the opportunities. So I want to show you the real-time notification of our indicators. Notice that the conditions, as soon as they exist, they print on the current bar. We have some very strong momentum. Let me back this up a little bit. If you remember in previous uh, video, we went over these indicators. Notice that we're showing strong momentum. That's these uh, black going to gray bars. We have a speed tick here, meaning that the orders being processed are being processed so quickly, it's highly unlikely that retail traders are able to do that. Now we've gotten into an overbought condition. That's this pink outline. Notice these are real-time conditions. We're reading every single tick that comes into each bar. So you notice the indicator prints on the tick that the condition exists on that bar. This is what I meant by real-time notification of market conditions. You'll see this confluence of indicators here that you would not have seen here. Again, look at the market structure. We have an area of accumulation, a push up, a pullback, an area of distribution, and another push up. All right? Notice the length of the bar relative to previous bars. This is our edge. And this is where we place a trade on the open of this bar. And down it goes. We have a number of tools to help you get started trading our trading system. This one called our Fast Forward Program where it teaches you how to practice. We're going to discuss that in our next video. This concludes video four. Please feel free to proceed to video five in the series to learn how we do what we do every day.